Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, welcome to our Career Online High School graduation ceremony for 10 of our graduates. My name is Savannah Johnson, and I'm the Adult Literacy Administrator here at the library. Um, Career Online High School, or CUHS, as a lot of us refer to it, um, is an accredited high school for adults. First created in 2012 as a partnership between Psychage Learning and Smart Horizons Career Online Education. It's been recognized as part of a commitment to action by the Clinton Global Initiative and acknowledged at the White House College Opportunity Summit. Our graduates today have completed prerequisite requirements and a scholarship interview, and then completed the entire program online within 18 months of starting, concurrently earning a career certificate in different fields such as home health care, child care, office management, food and hospitality, and more. The library has been honored to walk alongside our adult learners in this way and help them achieve their educational goals. We know that a diploma is more important than ever in opening opportunities for further education, future employment, and achieving a sense of personal accomplishment. There is a profound dignity to be found in achieving this goal as an adult a goal which is often achieved only after overcoming serious challenges and barriers. So we applaud the commitment that our graduates have shown in persisting to the finish line. So please join me in welcoming the second graduating career online high school class of Pueblo City County Library District. Thank you so much. First of all, thank you so much for having me here today to celebrate this time with you. Uh, I'm honored uh, to celebrate this day with you. I know it's important to you and your family. Uh, I can tell you that uh, it's never too late to go after your education. I can, uh, what, at different times in my life, I've been able to, uh, when I needed help, I would look at what family members or close friends did in order to uh, improve their lives. And I can tell you that my father uh, decided at age 15 to uh, leave his education at uh, Central High School and uh, take a job at CFNI. I can remember in the 60s growing up where he decided he would go back and get his GED. And it was different at that time. He had a book and he would prepare his lessons and then he would put them in the mail. He would mail them off. He would wait for them to come back. Uh, it was, it was a, a lot harder process, I believe, for him to do. But I was so proud of him to take that time uh, to do that for us. Uh, and in doing so, after that, he would take uh, business courses in the same way and work himself uh, up from someone who didn't finish his high school education to someone who was able to uh, be... Uh, he, he worked himself into the general foreman of still production at CF&I and had numerous people underneath him, worked extremely hard. Uh, even today, uh, my dad tells me that it's never too late to learn. When I go over there at age 87, he still has a big stack of books on the side of his uh, uh, TV stand. He spends more time reading the day and learning about things uh, than he did when he was younger. So it's very important to know that, that it's never too late. And what you do today is important to your family because your relatives, your kids, uh, your parents, as they see you go through this uh, pro process, you are an inspiration to them. 
So I congratulate you all on a job well done. Uh, I, I wish you the best of luck in the future, and uh, I hope you have an amazing day today.
I'm here to get cold. Life's been tough. The games, whatever you can think of in this world, I should be dead by now. So I stuff I've been through. Been a bunch of great supporters and coaches all night at my job I worked at. And they pushed me and they motivated me to make something out of my life. And I never think that more than enough for anything to come me. All my good friends that are in here with me today, I will see you again someday. In life, man, you can make these, you can turn these around. That's how you do my life. Be stereotyped, you know, all these things in life, it's hard with tattoos and being bald and all that, and just, you know, getting a job. And when you meet real OGs he's like Tracy Ray over there, man, that's, that's my co-worker. And, my coach Jay, who they pushed me this 18 months ago, and I was like, man, there's no way. I had a lap. Actually, I was doing this homework on my phone. <laughs> yeah. I updated the got a laptop. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm just saying, though, I, I love everybody that's in this room. Yeah, don't ever judge somebody for their parents or what you love, because you know what? Some of us, we can't turn things around and make things better, and I wish it for anyone out there. Why this has to stop every minute stops? Makes it up out of all of us. And believe it or not, I hate red. <laughs> wearing it today. <laughs> out of all of us, man. I'm only the man in the group too. <laughs> I Yeah. Woo! 
congratulations, graduates. I'd like to welcome our final speaker for today, State Representative Danae Estad. She is a Pueblo native and is serving a second term in the Colorado House of Representatives. Her efforts to address the opioid crisis, increase health care access, and increase jobs for Southern Coloradans has earned her the nickname Representative Pueblo. Representative Esther, we are so thankful for your time. Good afternoon, and thank you all so much for allowing me to have some time to share in this amazing celebration. This is the second year I've had the honor of being a part of this graduation, and I've got to tell you, I've done commencement speeches, I've done high school graduations, but this one always hits so close to my heart. I can't tell you what an inspiration you all are to me to overcome the odds that you did and come back and say, no, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to complete this. And I'm going to take that time and I'm going to put myself first and make sure I can be a better person for the rest of my family is such an inspiration. What you have done and what you have accomplished today is huge. You've taken the first step to the rest of your life. And hearing your stories, just a few of them, even has given me motivation and inspiration to go back and keep fighting for the rest of the, rest of the community today. So what you have done is no small feat. What you have done today and what you have accomplished today is so amazing and you should be so incredibly proud of yourselves and each other and this entire room. I don't know if you all took a minute when you were on that stage to look at this entire room full of people. We're here for you. We're here to celebrate you and your accomplishment. Congratulations. Hold on to this day. Remember every moment of this day because this truly is the first day in the rest of your life. I'm so proud to be from the same community as you all. Thank you. Thank you so much. This will conclude the ceremony part of our celebration today. Um, I just would like to thank our speakers once again for joining us, as well as the Friends of the Library who so generously provided um, the funding for our ceremony today. Um, but most of all, I'd like to thank our graduates for the hard work and what probably seemed at times an endless road yeah. to getting your diploma, but so you've done it. Um, and so as we finish, I want to give a couple of directions for the rest of our time together. Um, we will have a cake and uh, some refreshments uh, reception here after the ceremony. We also have a photo booth outside of this room, so make sure to get props and bring your graduate with you to get some photos together. Um, there's some great selfie opportunities there. Um, and before I dismiss us, we have two final and very important tasks to complete. So first, graduates, if you could please stand. And